Welcome to twoquestions.tv. My guest today is Dr. Dennis Charney, and we're talking about resilience. Welcome to twoquestions.tv. I'm Susan Barancini Mo. Joining me today is Dr. Dennis Charney, Dean of Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. He presents scientific data, case studies, and 10 factors to help anyone face life's challenges in the second edition of this book, Resilience, the Science of Mastering Life's Greatest Challenges. Hi, Dr. Carney. Welcome to the show. Good to be here. Well, I enjoyed your book very much, and I think the best place for us to start is by defining resilience for the audience, since that's really where you start the book. So what is resilience? Yeah, there's a couple of ways of defining resilience. Uh, you know, one, if you've been traumatized in some way or facing, you know, a major uh, challenge, like being in a cave for a couple of weeks, th that uh, you don't get any serious uh, psychological sequelae as a result of that. You don't get depressed, you don't get anxiety problems, sleep problems, uh, substance abuse problems. Um, on the other hand, another definition is that you may get some problems, uh, but you're, you can bounce back. You, in other words, you recover. Mm -hmm. So those are two um, equally valid definitions of resilience. You can bounce back when you have problems, or you don't even develop problems of following a trauma. That seems like a pretty important skill to have. <laughs> we all face problems in our life, so yeah, it, it's good to be resilient. Exactly. Well, you interviewed a lot of people for the book. I, I would say that this book, I, I've, I rarely come across a book that is so thoroughly and, and carefully researched and documented. And I... I I appreciate that so much. <laughs> and, and so in this work, you interviewed a lot of people and you found 10 recurring themes that can help people become more resilient. And you took each of those themes and you looked into what's the research, what really works to help people come re become more resilient. So what are some of the things that people can do to help them become more resilient? Where's the best place to start? Yeah, um, so there's a couple ways of thinking about that question. As a result of doing all this research, and my colleague and close friend Steve Southwick did this uh, work over you know, more than a decade or so, where we interviewed, as you mentioned, uh, hundreds of people mm -hmm. that by the definition we spoke about were resilient. Uh, we interviewed um, Navy SEALs. Um, the, uh, Delta Force Special Operations in, from the Army, uh, the POWs from Vietnam that were held for si five to seven years. On the other hand, uh, victims of an earthquake in Pakistan, uh, victims of sexual and physical abuse in inner city Washington, D.C., and so forth. So we literally interviewed uh, people from every different ethnic group and all different kinds of trauma. And as you mentioned, we identified uh, 10 factors that were important. And we also came to believe that you can make yourself, you can train yourself to become more resilient. So how do you do that? Um, you know, first we found that it had, or I found that it has implications for how you raise your children. Mm -hmm. I have five children. And uh, when I started studying resilience, I said, you know, I can't raise them in a stress-free environment. Right. that you have to uh, uh, challenge them. And by that, I don't mean traumatize them, uh, but, <laughs> but, but challenge them uh, to, to do things that are out of their comfort zone so that they develop confidence and literally develop a psychological toolbox that is available to them when they do face challenges in their life. And the same is true for adults, uh, that it does help in becoming more resilient to challenge yourself to do things that are out of your comfort zone so that you develop confidence um, in yourself when you face challenges in your life. And then you develop some of the characteristics of the factors that, uh, that we identified in the book to help you face a, tra um, a trauma in your life. Mm -hmm. I felt like it, it was such a 
a thorough book and, and I've got all these pages dog-eared for things to go back to. And like, I want to make a, like a checklist for myself of, you know, just kind of going down the list and adding things and trying things and experimenting. It was just so interesting. Um, so, so definitely a book I'm recommending to my audience to read. Dr. Charney, where can people find you? Find me? Yes. Um, I'm the Dean at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Uh, so I have a, a website the dean's website uh, so that's one way of uh, communicating you know with me okay and we'll have that link in our show notes for today dr tarney thank you for joining me today you're welcome would you like to join me for the after show okay okay viewers if you would like to join us for the after show dr tarney and i are going over to twoquestions.tv that's the only place you can find the after show so we're going to see you over there in the meantime here's the book we're going to have links to this book to Amazon so you can get your copy as well as find Dr. Charney down below in the show notes for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.